Hello, and welcome to YP Investor's Quick Tips. In today's episode, we'll be going over the new statistics feature on YP Investor's tools. So let's pop over to the YP Investor's front page. From here, let's go down to the tools, hover down to the stock selector. And let's type in a stock. Let's start with uh, Zoom, ZM. Click check stock. The tool will auto scroll down for you. And this new feature added this week is the statistical analysis of the stock price and the 50 day moving average. This is a standard bell curve. And IP Investors plots the 50 day moving average which is 10 week, the 10 week average. Uh, it'll show the price right down below. So that's the average of the last 50 days of the stock price. And then to the right, you have the positive two standard deviations out from that 50 day average. To the left, you have the, the negative two standard deviations behind that 50 day moving average. So the negative standard deviation price will be lower than the 50 day moving average and the positive standard deviation price will be higher than the average. And this price range between these two standard deviations is represents 96% of the stock price range within the last 50 days. So odds are the stock price is gonna be bound between this range 96% of the time given the historical price movements and prices of the stock in the past 50 days. So you can use this tool as another indicator or guide when you're making investments. Now, if you see a buy signal like this one for Zoom at 106, well, we can see that at 106, it's actually above its two sigma range. So maybe we shouldn't be buying in at that time. It gives us you, so this gives you another indicator and look at that the zoom today actually dropped down even though it hit a, a triple top buy signal it dropped down way down to 89 and that's right about the 50-day average so this kind of price chart will give you great indication of where a stock price is at currently and even though it's hitting a buy signal or a sell signal it's not guaranteed to go up or down and this will help you kind of see through well if it's at 106 buy signal well that's above the two sigma line so odds are that the stock price is probably going to drop back a little bit towards the mean towards the average the 50-day moving average so this you want to use this for any investing or trading it's a great additional tool that we added um, you'll notice the current price is in black if we find a stock that is above or below, the current price stock is above or below these standard deviations, it'll change to red if it's above and green if it's below. So let's take a look if it's um, red. Let's look at Adobe. And we'll scroll, scroll down once it's done calculating. And as you can see, the current price is now red meaning that the current price of Adobe is above its two standard deviations of the mean 50-day moving average. So this means it's high and, it, and Adobe could continue to go higher. doesn't mean that it can't, but odds are it's probably going to drop back towards this 50-day moving average of 278, drop back in the 280s somewhat and sometime in the future. So let's check out um, one that is low. Let's try AC. Click check stock, we'll go down once it's calculated. And you can see that AC, Associated Capital Group, their current price shows green because it's below the negative two standard deviation line of 35.36, That's it's actually at 35.18. So I mean, this stock you probably wouldn't want to invest in because it's in a negative trend and it just hit a sell signal, but it could be a good stock if you're doing some day trading or something, the current price is, or some swing trading, 
current price is well below its its 50 day moving average but i mean it doesn't guarantee that it's going to go back and go back up to 38 it could drop and continue to drop down and down so it's just another indicator to help you with your investments and it's very very helpful just to give you another insight you know it's like you're when you're driving a car you have the speedometer the rpm meter the gas tank gauge the heat engine heat so it's just like this is another one of those minor indicators that you can help guide you along your along your investing route so our quick tip today is to make sure you check the stock price range whenever you're going to be investing or buying in or selling in the stock market thanks for joining us today have a great week